mimi usema hii story kuna boy alinipigia akaniambia jalasi mimi nimejaribu kila kitu naona kama kitu imebaki ni kamba tu nijinyonge <coughs> nikasema this is serious nikamuliza how old are you akamwambia i'm 23 <laughs> At 23 ubo ya shajaribu kila kitu ya ameona ni ye ni kamba tu imebakia. At 23 chipukizi I was a fisherman in Homa Bay. Yes. I was a fisherman true. in Homa Bay. Yeah, I was in, I was a fisherman in Homa Bay. Na ingia huko hivyo na wazee yani some old people hata shule hawajawahi enda hawajaenda do anything but my parents could not afford anything for me. So I used to go deep down in the lake tunavuruta samaki tunakaa huko nje wazee wanauzia wa mama unapewa zako tatu naenda hata home na sombili 200 after a whole night Kukifu. unajua kidogo kidogo mazindi kaka mnai na nikamnai kama house help kama house help buda mbochi wa ki eh mbochi kuna ankango alinitaga huku akani itakwake <coughs> akani show hii kuka inafanya hivi hii cha inafanya hii inafanya hivi after kujua after two weeks akafukuza kila mtu kwa nyumba akaniwabakisha mimi ndio nampikia ujuza ushajua kupika eh hey, najua ku operate hizo vitu can imagine but i didn't stop i knew what i wanted i knew that you know what uh have just my me myself and i paka sasa hii mimi sijawaenda uni mimi bado niko na birth certificate na eh, blood certificate na da form 4 Okay, jaribu kufanya certificate zangu zikuwe mingi blood certificate <laughs> birth certificate ya form 4 but that has never made me look down upon myself because yeah. when my dad died he told me one thing I have a letter from my dad before he died because I could not yes I could, I could not even afford to go bury my dad when he died that's how sad yeah we are just starting wow. we are just starting the same day i got my first big gig that was kiss 100 is the same day my dad died. I didn't know. That. So 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 Caroline called me and told me, "Jalanga, you know you've been taking you you replacing uh, Nyambadne." When she hung up, my mom called me and told me, "Dad has gone." That's how sad it was for me. So that even when I was starting working at Kiss, I had to take two weeks to go bury my dad first so that I could come back. But then I got a letter he told me, "Make sure that your brothers go to school and your mom gets her home." I built my mama home and all my brothers have graduated. Sasa hizi ndio mini koshule. Sasa hizi ndio mini koshule na ngangana na watoto huko bara. Millennials. Naingia hapo na jificha tu. Huku ni wapi huku wapi? Sasa kile mtiani nakuja. Then unajua where I come from people don't fail. I come last time I got a very strong D plus. Najikaza tu. The day I graduate eh I'm talala Nairobi. I'm talala I'm not like you. You know ni kweli. Eh mtalala mtalala mtalala. Umetusumbua sana na Obama. Bado bado bado. Umemaliza bado. Yo Obama Obama unajua when your cousin is around. You don't be ever at your own. It's your cousin so. Where my cousin wako akikabu opiga watu nduru. You can't. So so that's the situation confidence and making sure that you know what you have your vision you put out everything that you want na just hard work unaweza kuwa mimi kwa gana kitu moja mimi waambia maboy eh ulizaliwa ghetto usikufe ghetto unajua ulizaliwa ocha usikufe huko ocha hata kama unakufa huko ocha basi make sure you only have two chances in this life either sleep and enjoy your dream or wake up and chase your dream So the choice is yours. When do you want? Kama wewe ni boy unataka kulala, hutaki kutoka kwa mama yako, nunua matres kubwa na duve mbili, ujivunike. Ulale. 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 <laughs> By the time unaamka utapata wase walie. Wase walienda. Unajua? Man. Kama wewe sasa, so umecheck even you wage skuma. Si unelienda kwenye huko tala boss. Eh, hey, hey, maze. <laughs> Ata fence amuna. <laughs> Abuna na fence. Uliwekea mother fence wewe. Mother hata nimejengea. Oh basi hapo sawa. Wapi makofi ya chipukizi?